Hey there everybody, Wayne D here. Welcome to the website. It's WayneD.com. And today we're going to look at the swing of a new budding superstar, Colin Morikawa. And if you watched that tournament last week where he fended off Justin Thomas at the end, you know this kid is the real deal. Great ball striking, excellent putter. So, you're going to see him around for quite a while. Super nice kid, too. So, I'm going to show you this one. This is only the backswing, but it's in slow motion. And there's a couple things interesting here. So, this is uh, courtesy of my friends at TaylorMade. And Colin plays their stuff, as I do. So, they post some things on YouTube with him. And he's with the Me and My Golf guys that TaylorMade has signed up. And they point out his grip, which is interesting. It's weak, and the left thumb is on the right side of the shaft. And the right hand grip is somewhat strong. So it's a very interesting grip. And you can see in a minute how he utilizes that. Another thing to notice from face on is how nice and square to almost toed in that right foot is, which is something that I'm a big advocate of. I like that. So I'm going to show you this one just because there's another a view that's side by side with a down the line, but the video starts about right here. So when I show that to you, I just wanted to make sure that you understand that he has not moved his head a millimeter to the right. I mean, it's dead still. So it's a perfectly quiet takeaway. If you watch him, he tends to stand over the ball maybe just a hair longer than a lot of guys. He does it with his putter also. But he seems so calm. It just fits. So he's going to stretch this out. Note the right arm right here gaining space. And watch the head is still sta it's still stable there. So he's stretching away from center. And then as he gets toward the top, he's really going to dig into his right side. He's going to get just a fraction of, of right load. So I just wanted to show you that to make sure you didn't think that when I show you the next one, which is a really nice side-by-side, -side, again, courtesy of my guys at TaylorMade, that you can see that he has not moved off the ball in that first eight inches of backswing. So we're going to draw some lines here, and we can comment on both sides of his swing. Perfect camera angles. Thanks guys. Don't get that very often. And both views. So, obviously, kids in great shape, like most of the kids now, no body fat, just strong lean. His backswing is, these swings are not in full speed, but if you watch his full swing, his backswing is very deliberate. It's not uh, Sun J.M. slow, but it's pretty slow. So that's a good picture of that, of that grip over there. And again, there's the extension now. So that left hand being very neutral here, the face says even though he hasn't really rotated his forearms very much, the face is still somewhat toward toe up. It's definitely not way shut. So in this swing we're going to see a tiny little bit more right load. So you can see where his head has gone at the end of the back swing. So by P3, it's got the shaft 
just a little bit on the vertical side, just a tiny bit off the plane. And you can just see that left wrist has gone into some flexion or bowed. And when he gets up to the top, we're looking at something that's sort of like a Dustin Johnson type at the top, but remember Dustin Johnson's grip is completely different, so you're looking at all you're looking at is something that it's just aesthetically in that vein there. And then we see the got some nice depth in the hip, right hip, right there. So right at the top, this is what I would call one of the magic moves. Notice how he is just as he gets into transition you'll note the right hip is going to move deeper. So having that thing getting deeper right as you get to the top is very important and you can see he's just finishing the backswing if we focus over here again and he's going to start the forward motion along with that deepening motion and when we watch the knees we can see how fast he's going to rotate so the left knee's gone right now and look where those hands are so I like to describe the pelvic movement as three things at the same time there's three elements there's depth which is back there's lateral which is this way forward and there's obviously rotation. I like the tips to be deepening as they push to the left and rotate at the same time. So for me direction wise that's always indicated. I've always gotten people to do this when I tell them if you aim the thrust 45 degrees to the left of the target and go from right to left you'll pretty much gain the lateral movement and the rotation and then it's right in the midsection there where the pelvis will tilt more anterior or more down and the bend will be f more forward here something that these great athletes can produce is that angle between the left shoulder and the waist. So let's look at the compression into the ground. So right at the beginning, I'd say in the first two or three feet of the swing, you don't see any lowering. So you can see his head's going to stay right up on the line. And now when he stretches that thing out, he's going to drive himself down into that right hip in here. It's going to stay perfectly on the inside of his right foot. You don't see much left leg inward movement at all. So again, this just shows you what a, a great flexible athlete can do as far as not purposefully restricting the lower body. It's probably just something that he's always done. And then there's that drive deepening of the right hip and then really interesting when we watch the movement from the top we can see what I would call the, the helicopter move where the club is going to move sideways in this direction and the left wrist since it's almost as far into flexion as it can get doesn't even have to bend anymore it's just gonna stay there now part of that he's able to do that because of that grip and if you listen to him talk about it it's not like he's doing any of this he's not a technique oriented player so he's not like doing this for any particular reason other than he's always done it and he's always been really good <laughs> so which is a great thing. Now, 
you're really going to see some nice action here with that forward lean at impact. So he's pretty far behind the ball, but he says he plays a six iron just forward to center of his stance. So he's going to need, with all that wrist flexion and that shaft lean, he's going to need the ball, or he's going to need his upper body to be a little more to the right than some guys. But look at that left wrist right there. It's like you, you know, if you try to put your wrist in that position and see what it feels like. It's probably unlike anything you've ever done to hit a golf ball with. Now the only thing that would be, and, and this just shows you that he's not concerned about what it looks like. The only thing that I would say is the sort of instant lift of the right heel. But of course, once that once that deepening move happens, you can just take that right leg and drive it up into the left now from here. And you can see the top of the legs come together. And I'll tell you what's what's really interesting about this. And this kind of goes against some of the popular teaching going on now, which is anti lateral movement. Check this out. I mean, look at the amount already of lateral movement in this. Now that's huge. So when I hear people talking about sliding is not good, there are definitely, there are swings of Hogan where he has an equal amount of lateral movement even with a three wood in his hand. But you can see why this guy is going to compress the ball. And look at Tommy Fleetwood's another example of lots of lateral movement and then you take where the furthest left point is and he's reached it about usually about where the left arm is about 45 it's about down here he's going to strike it and then the glutes are going to fire in and up and that belt buckle is going to not only stay up against the furthest left point it's going to go beyond it So lots of great stuff in that swing. I think this kid's, like I said, he's the real deal. He's going to be around for a long time and winning lots.